Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, January 12, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and services. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have fallen a little bit. We're down uh, roughly half a percent. And that is also to be expected. Uh, we are trading within this channel here. And at this current stage, we are basically, we have tested the top of the channel. And now we're basically going back down towards the lower part of the channel. So it's very likely that we'll go back towards the uh, uh, 3,750, uh, give or take. So this will probably drop another, well, another 50 points or uh, give or take. So at this point, we are going to test the uh, 20 exponential moving average. It has been very um, supportive in the past. We have broken through it sometimes, but we haven't even got close to the 40 exponential moving average. Um, so a pullback here towards the 20 exponential or this trend line that is basically a buying opportunity the target is 4000 at this point or 3900 and then 4000 it'll probably take a few weeks but uh, this this is most likely where this market is going so no interest in basically shorting this every basically pullback at this current stage is a buying opportunity technical indicators you can see here in the Bollinger Band, we were way outside of the Bollinger, Bollinger Band, way out, uh, basically overstretched and hitting the top of this trend line. And now we're going to fall back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. So we can look at the stochastic, it is turned around, the CCI is turning around, the uh, RSI is flat, but very high at this current stage. So a pullback here will most likely get the RSI down to 55 or 50, and then it is ready to go back. Uh, up. Um, the MACD is still uh, bullish, but this is an indication that we are most likely going to see this market turn around and head back to 3,750, give or take. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So very similar thing here. We rallied and uh, found resistant here at uh, uh, 31,100 or 200. Uh, give or take and uh, now we are basically overstretched we got overstretched you can see we were way outside of the bullinger band and now we're going to pull back towards the middle of the bullinger band we broke down a little bit and pulled back and now we're down 0 0.37 and down towards the bullinger band that's roughly a two percent fall and after that that is around 30 you know, 30,500 or 450 and after that, we are going to rally to 31,000. After 31,000, that is basically 31,500 where this market is going. There is no indication that this market is going to break down similar to this. You never say never, but it is very unlikely that this is going to happen. The market is basically just pulling back because we are overstretched. Um, we have been in a massive rally for a very long time. And yeah, usually what happens basically you pull back so wait until it gets to the 20 exponential and then it is possible to buy it up towards uh, 30, 31,500 and that's roughly 3.5 percent increase so let's look at the nasdaq so get rid of my alzheimer so Nasdaq very similar to to the to the S and P 500. We are trading within this channel. We basically hit the top of the channel, and now we're going back down towards the 20 exponential moving average. You can see it here in the Bollinger Band. So the 20 exponential is roughly here. That is uh, give or take 12,760. So that is the basically entry point for a buy. There is uh, no real indication that this market is either going to uh, completely collapse. There have been some of the tech companies that have been very hard, uh, hit very hardly today. For example, Facebook and uh, Twitter and so on is the one that uh, kicked Donald Trump off their platforms. They have, um, yeah, you can see Facebook here is down 3%. So it has been hit very substantially today. Uh, also, 
Tesla, for example, down 6%. And this is just going to continue all the way down to this um, to the 20 exponential, where it's possible to buy into it again. And the next target will most likely be around 13,500. Uh, 13, so your day from this point all the way up to 13,500 is, yes, I haven't on this screen at all here. So this area roughly here. So that's an increase of roughly 4.6%. So that will most likely happen within the next few weeks, probably three, four weeks, or probably the next month. Uh, that is going to be our next target for this market. So let's look at some of the tech stocks. So we'll look at um, Apple. Apple has fallen quite significantly today as well. We're down 2.06% at this stage. 20 exponential is holding uh, still, but it is very likely that we'll go further and hit the, 20, uh, the 40 exponential. If we turn around here, then these previous highs are going to be our target. That's roughly a trade of 7.64%. Um, technical indicators are fairly mixed. RSI is flat. The MACD is negative. The CCI is negative. MAC, the stochastic is crossing the signal line. And the Bollinger Band we're here, we can see that we were way outside, pull back, rallied, pull back. And uh, at the moment, we're trading underneath the 20 moving average, which is a fairly negative sign. If we were to go all the way to the bottom of the bullish band, that's a drop of roughly 4.68%, uh, and that's down to $122 a share, and that's just at the 50 moving average. So the 20 and the 40 have been the major support areas and uh, support moving averages uh, for the last one and a half month. We did fall all the way down to the 100 moving average here in the end of November, but since then we rallied. But at this current stage, if we have a turnaround here, we can see it on the one and four hour chart, uh, then the target will most likely be these previous highs here, and that's roughly a gain of 7.36%. So let's look at Amazon. So Amazon also fell 1.66% uh, today. We are touching the uh, 150 moving average, and this is a massive uh, support here for Amazon. We rallied way outside, fell all the way down towards the bottom of the bullish band. We'll probably hit the bottom of the bullish band and then rally something similar to this. So, but if the 150 uh, breaks, then we drop all the way down to the 200. That's a drop another 6.5%. Um, I don't really see that going to happen at this current stage. I think we are going to. Uh, rally from here from the basically the 150 moving average so the first target is roughly here that's a 3.7 percent or 3245 then towards 3342 and then to these previous highs here roughly 3500 give or take uh, but this should definitely be uh, definitely be supportive so let's look at Microsoft. So Microsoft and it basically gave away its gain at the end of the of the session. We are down at this current stage nearly one percent. Uh, the forty exponential moving average is holding. Technical indicators are basically all over the place. MACD is negative. The RC, RSI is flat. The CCI is negative. The stochastic is is bullish, and uh, the MACD uh, the Bollinger Band here we're trading underneath the twenty moving average. That usually means that we are heading back towards the bottom of this range, and that's a drop of roughly roughly five dollars a share, and that will take us all the way back just above the 150 moving average. So the 150 has been massive uh, support. So if we get down there, it is basically a buying opportunity. So Facebook has been absolutely trashed in the market today. We are. Yeah, down now 2.76%, but we were all the way down to $256 a share. So it's not surprising both for Twitter and for Facebook that their stock fell as, well, basically, uh, Facebook, the president of the United States was kicked off their platform. It's uh, It sounds ridiculous, but yes, that really happened. It's not a, it's not a commodity, uh, not a... <laughs> 
Um, it's not a joke, to be very honest. So he was kicked off of their platform, and of course, they may well say that he has said really negative things. Both Facebook and Twitter may say that, but really, he has basically been their marketing tool the last four years. He has used their platform, they have been in the spotlight the last four years, and now at the end of basically his, uh, his um, four years as president, they're basically kicking him off. It is, I don't know. I think they're just trying to save face, to be fairly honest. But that is what happened, and you can see what basically happened here also with the stock. It will rise again, of course, but but it took a major blow um, because, yes, it will not receive the same count, kind of uh, marketing as it has um, the last four years. And also, people are looking very negative at Facebook as basically a company. It used to be, a happy, fantastic company. Now, you, when you think about Facebook, you're basically thinking about Russian hackers and, um, yes, all bad things. So they really need to get their their um, their um, their image back because it is a horrible at this current stage, and it will, in the long run, most likely um, have an impact on their stock because people are just going to not buy this so institutional investors will buy this and that will basically bring the price up and so on but but um, but uh, I kind of I'm afraid that it's going to be a time before we see moves similar to this in this stock so let's look at Tesla so Tesla got uh, way overextended this is not um, not strange that Tesla fell today to 5.8 percent i wouldn't if it fell 10 12 percent i wouldn't be surprised either so it is expected for tesla to drop all the way towards the 20 exponential moving average that's roughly 18.85 percent give or take that is the um, that is where it will find support and where buyers will come back in it is way overstretched here you can see it's way outside of the bullish band and that basically means we're going back towards the middle of the bullish band so technical indicators are turning around the rsi is no longer overbought it is very um it's basically pointing uh, straight downwards the cci is also going the same way the stochastic is going the same way so it will fall and of course it will have an impact on the indices as well as this is a one of the major major companies but it is about it is basically a buying opportunity when we fall all the way down towards roughly 750 dollars uh, there's going to be a lot of buying and the next target for this will be 800 um, when we're here it will be 800 dollars that is um, roughly here that's a roughly a trade of 13.5 percent and then towards 900 dollars which is just around here, and that's $27. So within probably a month, we will see this drop towards the 20 exponential and then rally up towards 900 and probably 1,000 within one and a half month. So let's look at Google. We can see that we have dropped yet again towards the 20 exponential. Uh, we were way overstretched here, and that's the reason why we got rid of most of our Google stock. Uh, or basically all of a Google stock last um, session because this was completely anticipated. Uh, we will most likely drop towards the middle of the bullion band. If that breaks, then we are going lower uh, with uh, with Google. There is a lot of room to the upside. The RSI is only at 58. Uh, MACD is positive. The stochastic is a positive. Uh, CCI is turning around. So technically, it's basically all over the place. But a fall and the turnaround here will be an indication that we are about to go higher. So let's look at Netflix. So Netflix is also one of these sleeping giants. So um, um, it is very likely that Netflix will rally from here. I don't see Netflix breaking the 150 moving average. If it does, it will drop all the way to the 200 moving average and it's a drop of roughly 2 or uh, 4, uh, 4%. I rather think that netflix will basically rally up towards these highs and that's roughly eight percent 
Technical indicators are turning around. They are still very bearish at this point, but the 50 is holding. We're bottom of the bullish band. This is a stock that is very likely to increase uh, with the 2-3% uh, this week. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.